Well, most of us drink it every day. Either you have it in your cereal, maybe a glass with dinner at night. It's milk. And for some of us in the southern tier, we know exactly where that milk is coming from, thanks to our local dairy farmers. But many of these same farmers fear they'll be forced to shut down because of financial hardships. WENY Samantha Potter met with local dairy farmers, a part of the Progressive Agricultural Organization, to hear their stories today. Renata, imagine this. What if I told you starting tomorrow I'm going to cut your salary by 40%, but your bills are still going to stay the same, gas prices will continue to climb, and your taxes are going to keep going up? Well, that's what some local dairy farmers say they're currently facing. I haven't took a paycheck since the first the end of the year. Me and my dad. My dad's 78 years old and can't even pull an income off the farm he started in 1956. Our farm on the volume of milk that we shipped will be down $250,000. And the stories of losing money year after year go on and on for local dairy farmers. Why? They say because of a formula put in place by the federal government. Currently, that formula makes the cost of milk production more than what it's worth. Take a look at this. In 2014, the national cost of production for milk was $25.41 for 100 pounds of milk. Dairy farmers were paid $24.28 for 100 pounds of milk, meaning they lost $1.14. In 2015, cost of production was $23.42. Farmers were paid $17.14, which means that was a loss of $6.28. And this year, the cost of production is also $23.42, but the pay price is $15.50, a loss of $7.92. For someone like Rodney Mullen of Rexville, New York, that means a loss of $40,000 a month. My advance payment don't even cover my grain costs. So it's, and you got to feed your animals, and we're not going to back off on that. You can't. For Brenda Cochran and her husband of Westfield, Pennsylvania, it's losses like this that keep them from being able to afford health insurance. Well, we could keep our health insurance if we had an appropriate income, but with the federal government collapsing our milk price, we don't earn enough in our milk check to pay feed bills, fuel bills, and health insurance, so we had to let the health insurance go. Which is why she's calling on state officials like U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand to help them in Washington. And all we're asking is the federal government correct the formula to include factors sufficient to cover reasonable costs of production on the farm. Cochran says if something isn't changed in Washington, the future of local milk and dairy farmers in New York could be over, which she adds would have a negative trickle-down effect on the area. Reporting in the studio, Samantha Potter, WENY News.